Now to Fins on Four tonight. It is day two of the NFL Scouting Combine, and the Dolphins are there in Indianapolis to look for a new talent ahead of the draft. CBS4 is the only local news station traveling with the team. Sports anchor Mike Cugno is there, and Mike, you got a chance to talk one on one with the new head coach, Mike McDaniel. What do he say? I did. Call it the nerd inside this little stupid brain of mine. I, I, I really like the process of things. So today when we talked to McDaniel, we got to learn exactly how he alongside GM Chris Greer will attack the draft with this new coaching staff, the process of going through the evaluations, the interviews, the players, and of course, throughout all that, his dry sense of humor, which is always great, was also on full display. I don't know how this Q&A goes, but somebody has to ask questions and I'm ready to answer them. With his famously dry sense of humor, Dolphins new head coach Mike McDaniel is back in a football setting since taking over the team. At the Combine, he's meeting with players, evaluating talent, and fielding questions from a national media. He's also taking a minute to gush over the nice words said about him by his former boss, 49ers GM John Lynch. Hey, there you are, Mike. I didn't even know you were there. Oh, I wasn't leaving for that. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm out of here now. See you, buddy. <laughs> McDaniel will get back to work with his new GM, Chris Greer. This is the beginning of a collaborative effort from the two who will lead their new staff towards attacking the draft. It is fun to kind of take all of your expansive theoretical um, ways to approach things that you learn over your years and then kind of set a foundation of expectations for, for a coaching staff. Hey, here's what I want to get done. Here's what's important to me. Here's what's not important to me. Um, that, is, that is a fun part of the process. Aside from evaluating prospects on the field, McDaniel will get the chance to meet players. We've heard coaches this week talk about the importance of those first impressions, but McDaniel says it's a small part of a bigger picture. There's no absolutes that say, oh, that was an awesome interview. You're wary of the two extremes. If it's an awesome interview, you're like, okay, is this dude overly prepared? If it's a terrible interview, um, well, is he nervous? Or that's not a deal. So you try to just get information out of it and put it in to the whole pie of evaluation. Last week when speaking with McDaniel's assistant coaches, they preached forming their system around the talent they have. So trying to force a square peg in a round hole isn't something you'll see from this team anymore. You get the question a lot about Debo, Samuel, and, and versatile guys. Is that just maybe for one position like running back or let's say offensive line is a position in need? Do you look for versatility there as well within your system? You try to keep an open mind for everything. You're just looking at skills yeah. and then trying to keep your mind open to um, what way can we utilize these skills. Mm -hmm. And uh, because we have always done something is not a good enough answer for me and nor will it be for the Dolphins moving forward. So McDaniel and some of the other players have continued to go through these media interviews, also interviews with teams. We're going to start to see people hitting the, hit the field over the next couple of days. Now, there is a bit of news around the Miami Dolphins in the quarterback position. McDaniel did say today they are looking for a number two quarterback, someone to back up uh, to a tongue of Iloa. Also, general manager Chris Creer did meet with some of the local reporters in town, and he did say that the door on the whole Deshaun Watson saga has closed for the Miami Dolphins and Indy, Mike Cunio, CBS 4 Sports. All right, Mike, thank you. Interesting to hear some of the thought process that goes into these you know, decisions. Jim Barry says he wants a big running back. That's the answer to all their problems. <laughs> Let's Come see. on. Let's see. Thanks, Mike.